has put the black community on with each other because don't nobody got our backs like we got our backs, so. Do that thing with your eyes, eyes, eyes. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing something that I've been wanting to do for a long time. I've actually done a lot of research and following, you know, small YouTubers, big YouTubers. I've actually took the time to clean out a lot of people that I don't no longer watch on YouTube because I am in a time in my life right now. I just turned 33 in July, so I'm kind of in a place where I only want to watch things that's going to help me be exactly the person, the woman, um, the lady that I want to be. I want to be like, not like a social media influencer, but I just want to influence positivity even when I walk outside my house. Even if I walk into the grocery store, I just want to look like something presentable and I want to look like something that somebody else who maybe isn't feeling motivated would feel like they want to get motivated because that's what a lot of people in this world and on YouTube do for me. So I just want to put that out there before we get started. I actually got truly motivated to post this video today because last night I saw that I don't know her name and I've never even seen her before. And that just goes to show you there is so many people on this platform that we have no idea about. So even in watching her video, I saw that she mentioned 10 people out of the 10, two of them I actually knew and the other eight I had no idea of and they have a pretty decent platform. Like they have a lot of subscribers in my opinion. So <laughs> the YouTube algorithm is doing something not right by them, which I think is completely unfair. But um, anyways, today I'm going to share 10 YouTubers, maybe a little bit more. I don't know exactly I have, but definitely 10 YouTubers that you need to watch. You need to watch them for your mindset. You need to watch them for lifestyle. You need to watch them for confidence. You need to watch them just because they are people just like us. Like they're regular people just like us that were able to captivate and influence a lot of us to make them have a huge platform. So they're regular people. We're all regular people. They're just at a different level than us. But seriously, we all can get there. And that's literally how these people make me feel when I watch them. So I'm going to share that with you guys today. And that took like 10 minutes. So let's just get into it. All right, guys. So this is going to be in no particular order. But um, these are the people that I literally look for when I go on YouTube. Like, I look for them first. Um, so the first name, and this is in no particular order. So the first person that you guys should know and should definitely be watching is Aaliyah's face. Now, she's definitely younger than I am, but for some reason, and it's a little bit of aesthetics too, because I am just not an aesthetic person, but she makes me not want to be aesthetic, but makes me want to be more put together. Like, I feel, even though she's young and she doesn't have kids, you know, I'm married, I have children, but she makes me want to get up and do something. Anything. Do something. Get up. That's exactly how I feel every time that I watch her. She makes me want to not let the mom life completely consume me and make me forget about who I am, forget about who I want to be, forget about who I used to be. She definitely does that for me in a very mature way. Like, she doesn't give me immature vibes or anything. That's why it's easy for me to watch her. So that's the one of the people that you guys should definitely be watching. I'm sure you guys know her. She has more of a following. She definitely has over 100K, but she just is super motivating just, you know, for me not to completely let myself go, for me to not completely lose myself. So Aaliyah, shout out to you. The next person that I'm going to mention is Andrea Renee. Now, if she didn't review it, you shouldn't buy it. Because that means that <laughs> it's not good or it's not worth it. She literally buys every single product. I feel like she, I feel like she buys every single product or she receives every single product in PR. And she would literally tell you the real deal. 
she used to be a beauty channel, but she switched and started doing vlogs, which I love because it gives me a sense of her personality now, which is she's super, super chill. Like, I feel like people like her, like, I feel like I could know. Like, I could walk down the street and see and be like, oh, hey, girl. Like, you know what I mean? Like, she's a friend through the lens. But you know what I mean? Like, she gives super mellow, chill vibes. She's so beautiful. And she's another one so put together. And I, I truly enjoy watching her channel, whether it's she's teaching or whether it's just watching her lifestyle. She's definitely somebody that you need to watch. So, hey, Andrea. <laughs> the next person I'm going to mention is Too Much Mouth. She is, not only is she Haitian, right? But she is hilarious. She's not funny. She's hilarious. She's real. She also used to only do mainly, you know, beauty content, like reviewing things. And she still does. Um, but, you know, now that she does lifestyle, my gosh. My gosh. She is funny. She's real. She, she doesn't feel fake to me. Like, she keeps it solid. Like, I really, really love watching her. Like, you guys don't... Too much mouth. Y'all need to be... Are y'all writing this shit down? Write it down. Too much... Like, Shout out to you because, let me tell you, she is entertaining while providing beauty and fashion. <laughs> Get on it, people. Get on it. Come on, let's go. The next person that I'm going to mention is Happy Stylish Mommy, Shauna. I like her because she's a little older than I am, but she is... I feel like she's not trying to be something that she's not I feel like she gives the content that makes sense like she's not gonna just let the camera roll for no reason like if all she did today was go get coffee and take her kids to school then that's all we gonna get for the day and I actually appreciate that and she's actually somebody that motivated me to try my hardest to be consistent because she puts out what she can she doesn't do more than what she can do she it's just really pure, really natural to me. So I really watch her for a lot of motivation just in my day to day. And um, she motivates me to actually record whatever I have, then that's what it's going to be for the day. Like I, I stress so much about how much minutes it should be. And she doesn't do that. And that really, and she has a great following. All her followers, I feel like really, really genuinely like her. So um, Happy Stylish Mommy is definitely somebody that you should watch, especially if you're struggling with wanting to film content like she's really really helps me on a day-to-day -day. so shout out to you happy stylish mommy the next person that i watch and she's grown on me so fast is jasmine ardell she as well never used to do vlogs but since she's been doing vlogs i feel so much relatability when it comes to her i think we're around the same age and she has two kids too and she's married and she just doesn't try to be something that she's not like um she's caribbean and I, I just i love her whole demeanor i love her vibe i love her style i like and she's a nurse just as i am she's an lpn too so um i think that's actually how i kind of found her channel is because i was looking for lpns that you know are on youtube and her channel came up but i really really enjoy watching her she just gives such chill vibes and you know she's really pretty she also does beauty content as well so she reviewed things and um her foundation shade kind of goes with mine a little bit she's somebody that i definitely enjoy watching so jasmine ardell you definitely need to be having her on your watch list okay <laughs> the next person that I'm going to mention is Sani Beauty, and I really enjoy watching her. She's a new mom, and she's, I could be very hyper and crazy, and she's super calm, so I really, really love to watch her just for my energy. She just recently got married, and I think I mentioned that she did have a baby, but she does beauty and lifestyle, so um, she's definitely somebody that you want to watch. She doesn't have as much these some of these people do not have as much subscribers as i feel like they should have and they're not really out there as i feel like they should be out there but she's definitely somebody that you want to um watch um she's more mature she's older definitely um somebody that you know is genuine just as the other ones are and i don't feel like awkward you know sometimes people are awkward and you can feel the awkwardness it's like oh you're awkward because you're trying she doesn't give those vibes that's why i really enjoy watching her as well 
The next person that I'm going to mention is Beautifully Cindy and I actually found her because I was looking for people in Boston who vlog and she is originally from Boston. She rec she moved to Houston like a year ago um, but she has, um, I'm going to be so honest about her, alright, this is about, I'm about to be real. I watched her and I was loving her and then when she got to Houston I feel like the vibe that I felt from her originally was off so I honestly haven't been watching her as much but yesterday literally yesterday saturday october whatever this this weekend this weekend that you guys have seen it yesterday she posted a video about feeling kind of lost and feeling kind of um burnt out and wow the relatability and it's like that is why i originally started watching her she just you know doesn't want to vlog senselessly she wants to vlog with purpose and that was like something so real and i'm so happy that she said that because i was honestly starting to feel the vibes were off and i know that as people grow they change and i'm okay with that um but it's good to know that you know what i was feeling wasn't like i wasn't like crazy about it like she was kind of changing and evolving but at least for her she didn't really like the vibe that she was starting to give off. So I actually like that and I'm glad that I decided to click her channel yesterday and watch her. It's just been like maybe like for the past month or two I haven't been watching her but yesterday's video just brought it all back to why I started watching her in the first place. So beautifully Cindy. She has great content. She works hard at her craft and she is Haitian. You know. We love everybody here but you know Haitian you know. The next person that I'm going to mention, she doesn't have a lot of followers, but I really, really like her just because of her consistency. She's super pretty and, um, you know, I, I'm so excited to watch her grow. She works so hard is Morgan Flowers. Um, I found her, I don't even remember how I found her. I could have been looking up like micro or nano influencers or something like that. Or maybe somebody mentioned her from back when I used to watch, um, Back when I used to be on Clubhouse. But I don't know how I found her. But I'm glad that I did. She's very consistent. She's very regular. She's normal. She's not trying too hard to fit into the aesthetics. And I just really appreciate her consistency. And how she's growing. She's doing a great job. And um, it motivates me as a smaller influencer as well. To put out more content. And to be more consistent. So Morgan Flowers is definitely somebody. Who we should all just be supporting. Just to help her grow. Because she's you know. She deserves recognition. And the last person I'm going to mention. Is me. Betty D. Um, I am not really new to YouTube, but I'm very, um, but I haven't really been consistent. I just don't even want to talk about how consistent I'm going to be and I want to be. I just want to just do it. Um, YouTube is something that I love. I've been watching it for a long time. I think my first YouTube video was like in 2010 or 2011, but I think I took it down since now but um i just love youtube i just want to be able to help people as much as i can i want to be able to show my family show my life show a side of youtube that has kind of drifted away which you know not a lot of people are super real and super genuine on this platform and a lot of people are into aesthetics which i like to see it sometimes but i also like to see regular things i want to see that you know your house is kind of messy. Your kids are kind of raggedy a little bit. Like, you know what I mean? I like to see the real because every day is not an aesthetic. I mean, for me, it's not at least. I don't really care to make everything a, a, an aesthetic for my lifestyle. Like, um, I want to just see regular people doing regular things. So um, if that's something that you're interested in, I'm definitely going to keep on doing vlogs at whatever capacity that I can do and make up videos to a point where I don't want to be redundant. I want to create content that's going to actually be helpful to people and I want to put out vlogs for people to actually see a regular mom life, work life, because I do work, taking care of my kids, you know, possibly growing my family. Um, yeah, so if you guys are interested in that, then I would definitely subscribe to my channel. It, you know, it'll be great. You know, some people say I'm funny. I think I'm being serious, but you know, whatever, to each his own. <laughs>
So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I've been wanting to do it for a long time and I'm so happy that I actually got the opportunity to feel motivated to do it. I encourage everybody to do a video like this. We all need to just be helping each other. We all need to be giving each other insight and putting everybody on. Let's put the black community on with each other because don't nobody got our backs like we got our backs. So, thank you guys for tuning in and I'll see you guys very soon in the next one. Bye.